Hello everyone! Welcome to my classroom. My name is Mrs. Lawson and today we are going to learn how to write an observation from a graph. In my classroom, we graph the weather every morning. We take time to see if it is sunny or partially cloudy, cloudy, rainy, or snowy. And we record the weather that day. We make an observation and write it on our graph. Today, we're going to be writing observations from a graph. And an observation is really just a fact that we can find out by looking at the graph. Like, how many sunny days were there? Hmm. I see that it's 11. Or, how many rainy days were there in September? We had two. We could even think about how many more sunny days there were than rainy days. Or even if we totaled up all of the blocks that we colored in, we could figure out how many days we made observations. So we're going to take a closer look at this graph and then we're going to make our own so that we can write some observations about a graph. Let's take a closer look at this graph. We can see that on the bottom of the graph we have the different types of weather. Sunny, partially cloudy, cloudy, rainy, and snowy. And then on the left hand side there are numbers that go all the way up to 13. How many sunny days were there in this month of September? There were 11. And we could write that down. I have written, there were 11 sunny days in September. That's an observation or a fact that I could learn from observing the graph. I want you to take a minute to think about another fact or observation that you could write about from this graph. Is it about how many partially cloudy days there were? Or cloudy? Or rainy? I'm going to write about snowy because there were no snowy days in September. That would be very strange weather for September. There were no snowy days. There were no snowy days in September. I think I would like to make an observation comparing two types of weather. I'm going to compare cloudy and sunny. Hmm. There were four cloudy days, but 11 sunny days. How many more sunny days were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven more sunny days than cloudy days. I have written three different facts about the graph by observing the graph and writing what I know about it. We make a lot of graphs in my classroom and our favorite one is about ice cream. Why don't you try to make a graph about ice cream today and favorite flavors and then write some observations about it. In my class, we complete a graph about our favorite flavors of ice cream. We have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, bubble gum, cookies and cream, and cotton candy on our graph. Can you guess what my favorite flavor is? It's cookies and cream. My son's favorite is bubble gum. But my husband likes chocolate. Today, I would like for you to make a graph about flavors of ice cream. See how many people you can interview and see which ice cream is the favorite flavor. Then, I would like for you to write some observations about the facts that you can tell from the graph. Hmm, which one is the favorite? Which one is the second favorite? 
Which one did no one choose? All these questions and more can be answered by creating a graph and writing observations about what you've learned. Thank you so much for learning about graphs with me today and about writing down our observations. I hope that you have fun making your own graph and writing about it. Thank you so much for learning with me. Have a great day class. Bye-bye!